What is going on guys? In today's video, we're gonna be installing Valenti taillights in the BRZ. Um, I'm at Mike's house, as you can see. We're back at it again, like the good old days with an install for the BRZ today. We're installing um, fully red housing uh, LED Valenti taillights for the rear. I don't like how the stock ones look, so in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to install it. I'll leave a link down below where I got the taillights from, so you guys can just get access to that for those of you that are watching this that have a BRZ. And uh, yeah, definitely recommend these after you guys check out how they look. So quick thing, I wanna point this out. We already filmed this video and we just took the taillights out again because when we went to go watch the video to see a funny part that had happened, we had no audio. So the microphone was actually dead. So now we're filming this again. So sorry if we rushed through this. So yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys how they look because I feel like a lot of you don't know. This is the tail light right here. As you can see, the packaging is sick. Oh, and then that's Patrick. <laughs> right. drop it again. <laughs> All right, we have to do the drop again. So really fast, I'm gonna show you guys a quick clip. Mike had put the tail lights on the trunk like he is now, and clearly he hasn't learned his like lesson. This, and then wind, and then... The wind came and it literally tossed it back. I'm gonna show you guys the clip right now with no audio, of course. And you can see it fell really bad in my reaction. You guys don't even get to hear it. But. Pretty durable though. So that was our durability test. As you can see, all I got was a little scuff right here and a little scuff right there. Um, we're gonna, we tried to see if we can wipe it off, but it's literally too deep. So um, luckily we got lucky that the face of the taillight is still okay. And uh, so that's huge. Um, another cool feature about these taillights is there's a switch behind it where you can turn on and off the sequential switch. So I'm gonna show you guys how it looks and one tail light with the sequential on and then with one tail light with the sequential off. I'm probably gonna end up running sequential off because I just don't like the way it looks. I feel like the turn signals in these tail lights kind of look a little ricey. So let me open the trunk I got you right now. All right, I hope you guys can see because it's kind of getting dark out, but um, what you want to do is remove this clip, this pin right here. There's a pin right here. You remove that. You know the light? What? That's the light. I'll just give you light, it's fine. Okay, after yeah. you remove that, you got four eight millimeter nuts, obviously, clip that off so you can take off the nut. This install shouldn't take more than like five minutes. It's a really easy, quick install. Um, and, and these taillights are plug and play, which helps a lot. Okay, after you remove those four, yeah, just unclip, unclip it. it Press a little. right here, Yep. pull it up. And then pull off the taillight. So obviously, like I said, we already did this once. But, but um, one, two, three, four, plugs right here. Like I said, we already did this once. So that's why it was so easy to take off. Don't be scared to like pull it off because it's been on there for a while when you guys take it out of your cars. Oh, and and then, also, th this thing is broken on yours. Oh. Remember how on the like F30s, F80s, there oh, was yeah. these two clips? And you have to put your finger here to pull out? Yeah, so they're gonna have to get your finger in between here and give it a nice like budge. Okay, to get pop it out. that out. And then once you get uh, the chance, this part, this area is probably gonna be really dirty. So just take the time to clean that. You don't want that on the back of your new, your new tail light. And yeah. then to prevent it from leaking. That's another reason why I went with these new taillights is because these are known to leak really badly. As you can see right here. And it makes the taillight look so bad. So, uh, uh, ew, ew. yeah, that's gross. Out with the old, in with the new. Line up the holes. I'll grab the wire. That's it. That's it. Bye. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it. That's the install. Goodbye. So take the old connector and connect it to your new taillight. Make sure the clips line up up top. Very easy. Let it clip. And then this is the switch for the sequential on and off. We'll see if it's on right now. And we'll test it out and I'll show you guys how it looks. Wow. I'm sorry, guys. I have to act fake surprise. Wow. Wow. Look, look at that. Wow. Wow. Would you look at that? Wow. All right, so obviously you guys can tell that looks much better than the OEM ones, the old ones. Check it out right here. So this, this circle thing, very, very 2011, 12 sports car thing. Now this looks much better. Um, it looks much nicer. It has a nice like ray going. Let me guys, let me, let me guys, let me show you guys how it looks with this, the turn signal so you can see. So this is with the sequential feature off. off. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, so that's how I prefer it. So this is with the sequential on. I'm gonna switch it off right now. I mean, no, sorry, wait. All right, so this is with the sequential on. Off, this is on. Oh, sorry. So this is with the sequential off. This oh, is with oh, rice. Oh, oh, oh my God. <laughs> okay, <laughs> this is with rice mode off. On. This is rice mode on. <laughs> <laughs> 
Jesus Christ. Yo, I don't like how this looks, especially because this turn part comes down. So that's why I don't like the sequential look. But it looks cool at night, I'm sure. I'm sure this looks cool, but I prefer it like that. So that's how I'm going to leave it. But you guys can comment down below what you would do and what you guys think I should run. But I like it the way it looks right now. All right, that's how I prefer it. How do you prefer it? Yeah, but the that's LCI too. They look the same. They look very similar. It's like upside down. It's pretty much LC upside down LCI. Oh, literally, like this part, and then this part. Wow. That's crazy. Copy. I'm trying to be like Mike. We're trying to twin. And there's the comparison right there, right and left. Oh, it just looks so much better like this, in my opinion. Oh my god, it looks so much better now. Holy shit. Even with the LED license plate lights, it looks sick. All right, so obviously the install process is the same on the other side. We're gonna quickly knock that out and then show you guys how it looks, both of them together. Um, so yeah, just give us a second. Check that out, it looks sick. So um, right now we have it set to the left one with sequential mode on. So as you can see right there, the left one is sequential and the right one is just normal. Pat, you wanna get in there and hold the brake? You can show the brake too. Oh yeah, it looks sick. Turn the hazards off. Oh, that looks so much better. Get off the brake. Get on the brake. Wow. It's crazy how much better it looks in person than it does on camera because the camera can't take on like that much light. It's very, very bright. It looks much better. Get off the brake. Oh, it looks sick. You know what really makes it look good? The LED license plate lights. Because um, just now we just changed those. I didn't think that was worth making a video of, but we should have done it because it was actually like kind of annoying compared to how it is on a BMW. But um, with the halogens and the tail lights, it didn't look as good. But now it looks much, much nicer. Looks sick. Yo, bro. Getting seizure. Bro, if I get a seizure, it's on you. All right, let me turn the sequential thing off really fast. It's really that easy. <laughs> look how easy it is. Well, we're obviously going to put this back in and put it back in properly. So. Pat, put the hazards back on. Yeah, that looks sick. I, I prefer it like this. <laughs> can you stop? <laughs> Chill. All right, so as you guys can see, um, just these tail lights, they just made such a big difference. Um, there was actually water slightly leaking into my trunk too because of the old tail lights doing that. So for those of you that have BRZs or FRSs and you have those ugly tail lights that leak a lot of water, try to get rid of those i found these for like 260 bucks this was right right after black friday when i got these so i got them for a good deal they're really not that expensive and they make the car look so much newer from the back i actually prefer how the car looks from the back now versus the front because the front i've ever since i've owned this car i've only been taking pictures of the front because i love how the front looks and the back was so ugly but now that i got these new led license plates on and the tail lights in they look a lot nicer and i really love how this car looks now from the back um now the next step would probably be to maybe if i have money to get a carbon fiber trunk um because that would look sick on the with the white it would like contrast with the car very well in the tail lights so a carbon fiber trunk with like a one piece kicking up kind of like a bmw csl trunk something like that but meanwhile now right now that i'm broke i'll maybe just get a carbon fiber trunk lip or something to make the back look a little bit nicer and also some nice big um, exhaust tips because these cars the cutout for the exhaust look how big it is it's huge like it's like they knew that you want to get like a huge exhaust tip to come out so something big there would make the back look a lot more aggressive and then uh, maybe even a third brake light right here one that matches something with this so like this ray thing to go right here and then we'll have three brake lights but that one up top so it'll technically be four right i don't know We'll see how that looks. So that pretty much does this for this video, guys. Um, thank you so much for watching. For those of you that watched, like I said, I'll leave a link down below in the description to where you can buy these if you're interested. But that pretty much does this for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Peace out.